Hey there folks, welcome back to the channel. If you've been following along, you probably saw us do our spell fan install and new radiator. Uh, we did have a little bit of coolant push into the, or coolant oil push into the overflow jug there. So we did the head gasket this past week and that video is coming to you soon. But today we're gonna work on taking care of some ventilation up front. We're gonna get some airflow issues figured out with this new front mount installed. Uh, we're going to go through and create some sort of ducting. Now, if you've done this yourself, you know that the stock duct does not fit and it won't work. So you have to rip the thing out. And since doing that, we've basically opened up a good four inch gap all the way around that intercooler. And that's letting air go through and down instead of straight through the stack of condenser and radiator behind it. So we're going to improve our cooling today and we're going to block off some unnecessary and unwanted openings behind the front bumper there and I'll show you the list of stuff that I've picked up to do this job. Okay guys so for this we have a few pieces of equipment we've picked up. Uh, we've got some trim right here. Uh, it's like a molding gasket. It fits on uh, I think it's quarter inch, 15 foot. Fits on 70 thou thick plastic. We've got ourselves a Pittsburgh plastic hand rivet gun, uh, some 3M plastic and emblem adhesive that we may have to use for some of the joints, a uh, couple pairs of heavy duty snips, uh, I've got some aluminum foil heat tape that I may end up putting on something, I'm not sure yet, uh, a little Gorilla Tape to help hold everything together while we're templating stuff up, and as you probably recall, the bumper is held on with zip ties at the fender on this side and the other side. So picked up a uh, quick release kit from Amazon. It was like 15 bucks. Showed up, everything looks all right in there. It's got all the parts and pieces. So first steps first, we're gonna take this front bumper off and we're gonna take and try to figure out where some of these openings are and how we're gonna build something to close them and damn the air so it goes straight on through. All right, so we've got our bumper yanked off here and what I'm thinking is on the inside of the bumper here is that support bar across the bottom. I think I'm going to take that completely out. I'm going to try to make something that connects a, sh a piece of plastic here that goes through that opening back and connects to the bottom of the core support someplace. And I also have this huge roll of 70 thousandths, uh, well, 0 0.070 thick it's four by eight from uh, Summit Racing this cost me 60 bucks it's automotive grade um, it's plastic it's a plastic sheet I'm not sure what type of plastic but <laughs> it's supposed to be somewhat heat resistant and it came in this massive roll way overkill so we're gonna use that so I'm gonna take that bar out of the bottom of the bumper I'm gonna make up some sort of template here in a few minutes and we're gonna connect that underneath the bottom side of the bumper to get rid of the gap between the radiator core support and the front mount intercooler. So I'm going to get started taking some quick side measurements and seeing what we can fit in its place and we're going to go from there. Alright so I pulled the headlights out of here just to give myself a little bit more working room and down here you can kind of see the issue right through here there's a gap and that's that little shelf that I made for the intercooler to sit on and it looks like air is going through it. And as you can see, that's the radiator to the left. And the bottom of the intercooler is probably four inches below that. And what's happening is the air is going down and out through the bottom side, like right through the space right here, instead of going up and through the stack. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is try to close this gap here on the side, straight from the intercooler I'm going to have something go right through here. I'm going to do the same on this side, try to close that gap a little bit. And if I can, I'm going to see if I can close in the top part of it underneath where the bumper bolts are for the uh, strap that holds the uh, bumper cover on. See if I can kind of close this whole area right here off because it's all covered up with bumper anyway and just have air come in through the intercooler and go up and obviously the gap along the bottom here I'm going to cover up with this plastic as well. Alright guys, so here's where I am at. Uh, I started cutting some pieces off of the big roll over here. 
I've got some smaller pieces around on the floor here. I've got a case of all sorts of different, uh, there's 612 or something like that, different pieces of plastic body push pins, uh, like trim clips. So what I'm doing is I've started on this side trying to wall this off. And what I'm going to end up doing, set this down, is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put a hole right here through the side of the core support. And I'm going to push rivet one plastic piece there. And I'm also going to put some of that, uh, that trim on here. That What is it? It's like door seal, door trim. I'm going to put a piece of that back here because it's got the bubble on the back edge of it. And that will mate against this metal and hold it somewhat tight. And I'm also going to go down here and I'm going to put a push pin through this plastic right here and hold that in place. And the overlap is going to stick out and kind of enclose this corner over here so that this whole leaking side is now forced inward. Right, guys. So here's what I wound up with for the driver's side. If you look straight on it, it's fastened with one push rivet, one screw in one. Right straight through. I think you can probably get a shot. There you go. It's in there. And I've also done the same right down here on the bottom side. And that gasket has sealed it right against the back edge of the core support there. And I've also got a piece going along here on the bottom. And that's going to be a mating surface for the lower section. Uh, I've got to go around those cooler lines. But I'm going to try to do the same thing over on the passenger side now and then I'm going to work my way straight across the middle covering everything up all the way across to try to box this all in. Right, so I've been working on the passenger side over here. I got this gasket placed on all the way down here. It's clipped in at the bottom, clipped in at the top and it's all together pretty close. There's this little gap here. I'm not going to be able to make this perfect obviously so when I join this edge, I'm going to put a little bit of that gasket straight down here, and I'm probably going to end up having to either adhesive it together or tape it. I think I'm going to just use some a strip of black tape to go across and cross my fingers that it holds. I think it will. That Gorilla Tape stuff is pretty serious. That way, this retains its removability. So I can take this clip out, that clip out, same on the other side, the upper and lower, and then I could just peel a piece of tape here and one on the other side and this whole plastic piece will all come apart. And what I'm going to do down here on this lip, it's pretty thick, I'd say it's about a half an inch thick. I'm going to take and throw some plastic rivets. I'm going to stick this piece in, you can see how it's set up. What I'm going to do is get this joint made, then I'm going to take this, bend it so it comes up. And I'm just going to cut it clean off right there and rivet it across the bottom of this plastic here. And I'm going to do the same to the other side straight across. Probably close in this little space right here. And uh, just with like a single strip across the center. And that's probably all that I'm going to do for the upper part. Alright guys, so far we've got this piece butted right up against the AC condenser. It's got some of that uh, gasket around the ends of it so it doesn't poke through anything. I got it all fastened and cleaned to the front down here with some uh, push lock fasteners and some bolts just to make it nice and tight. Now everything's fastened on there. I'm going to start to clean up that corner and that corner and get those nice and sealed up. Now the only thing that's left to do is the bumper and the bottom side underneath the front end here. So I'm going to try to use one piece, find a couple of points where I can put a couple of push pins through. I'm going to attach it to the bottom of the front bumper, measure it, and then I'm going to try to fasten it to the frame someplace with some of those push pins that I got. And then once I'm done with that, it should be pretty simple to take the front bumper off and that if I need to in the future. So I'm going to get after it. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, folks. So... I'm getting a little tired here. I just finished uh, going around this thing and sealing up a couple of little spots with some tape just because uh, it's got plastic for the main body and then there's a couple of rows of tape there, a couple of rows of tape there. I just decided to cover these holes to see what happens. 
Uh, I took a sheet a little bit better than that one. Uh, you can see it's uneven right there. Uh, that was a spot that kind of messed me up. So I cut a new one out and I put that up against the bottom of it, fastened it with push rivets to the frame on that side and that side, and then one going through the lower radiator core support on each side. And then there was two little gaps that were left, so I put a strip of that Gorilla Tape across that. I think it's pretty well sealed. So now that that's done... Okay guys, so we're at the end of today. We're gonna come back at this tomorrow. I was just looking at this and looks like we have a little gap right there we're gonna have to try to fill in. We're gonna put that gasket along the inner lip here all the way around and that should seal up some more of the space. We're gonna mess more with this tomorrow and we're gonna get our valve cover back from the welding shop. So until then, I'll see you guys in the morning for more fun with this thing. Side note guys, looks like the headlight should fit nicely in this little spot here. It's all sealed off right there. Same on the other side. So I think this is going to do all right. We also have to put our quick connects on for a bumper. So we'll be punching a hole in the uh, fender and a little hole in the side of the bumper there. But I don't know. I got to measure that out. I think I'm going to go right about here and then right about here. So I got to check out the specs on the paperwork, make sure the bands are long enough. But it'll be a hell of a lot better than zip ties. So. We'll be back to this tomorrow morning. We're Tell back it. here. It's the next day. Now we're going to try to tackle some stuff with this front bumper. We got the entire radiator pretty much covered up, ready to go. Everything's blocked off on all the side exit points. So now I want to focus on closing that gap there and making sure that this lip sits flush against the bottom of that intercooler. And that's going to help draw air straight through right, it. So it's getting a little warm out here. I'm gonna take five real fast, but I did a little bolt extraction here, here, and on the end. What I've come to so far is the uh, plastic will not work, so this lower bar down with some tin snips so it'll fit. It's ugly right now, I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. Throw some black paint on it, possibly. I'm not 100% sure yet, because it's just a piece of steel that's bracing. And this bumper is going to be on and off a bunch more times. So I think I'm going to use this instead of the plastic stacked. It's just, this is a little bit more rigid. It's obviously it's metal versus plastic, so that's a given. But it was poking up and impeding the front edge on the bottom core of the intercooler there. So I have took a, about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch off the top of it. And it should fit in the bottom of this bumper nicely. So what I'm going to do is cut out my shape for the plastic cover that's going to go along the bottom side up against the intercooler. It's going to attach to the bottom of the bumper here. I'm going to sandwich it in between that piece of metal and the bumper, fasten it in with some short bolts, and uh, go from there. So I'm going to get started making that, and I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, guys, so far I took the uh, steel piece that reinforces the bottom lip of the bumper there. I got it trimmed back so you can kind of see it right there along the bottom edge. I trimmed some bolts short and affixed that piece of plastic to it. So now this is all one solid piece and I'm going to trim the edges there. I've got some lines, I don't know if you can see them depicting where I'm going to trim it. And then I'm going to fasten that straight back to the uh, lower cross member in the front, right behind the core support. And that's going to kind of be the front cover to direct air that way under the car so that Air will go in through the radiator and intercooler and out the bottom instead of just getting all blocked up in the front here. But anyway, I just got a phone call. The valve cover's missing still. We're going to go up to the shop. It's ready. We're going to pick that bad boy up, pay the guys, and then come back down here, put our quick release on, and finish covering up the bumper holes. So I'll see you guys soon. Just got back from the welders, and they went through this thing and checked it all out. There was a pretty significant crack going right through here. It started right at the top, went down straight into the bottom side here. Went all along a little line right here and they routed it all out. Got it all nice and welded up. And I just finished going through and washing all the debris off with some hot soapy water. And we're going to let her sit out here and dry for a few minutes. 
All right, so what I've got done so far is I've marked out a couple little holes there. There's a dot for a hole there. There's the outline of the cross member under the front and the center. I'm gonna punch some holes to the left and right of that cross member, one over here and one over here that's gonna to attach to the existing wheel liner. And I've also punched the holes in the fenders already, so I can, and in the bumper, so I can hook up my uh, quick release kit. Uh, so I'm gonna slide all this stuff into place real fast, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so I've got everything hooked up here. I'm having crazy camera issues, so I'm going to run through this real fast. I've got the quick release bumper hooked up. I've got all the ducting fixed down low. Plastic is all fixed. Everything's looking nice. I put the gasket all the way around this opening here. And I've just got my valve cover painted and ready to go back on, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. But I'm going to drive this around. I will come back and give you guys a video update in the next few days and let you know how everything's working uh, over on Instagram someplace. So that's that. We've got some new ducting installed. Everything's set up. So don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And we'll see you next time at today's project, guys. Take care.